ranking all 39 college football bowl games. Here are 3021. Our bowl countdown has reached the second quarter. These are the games that, while somewhat more attractive than those in the first quadrant, still aren't likely to move the needle for the casual fan. There are, nevertheless, more reasons to watch as we approach the upper half. Here are no's. 3021 in our completely arbitrary rankings. Southern Methodist, 7-5, versus Louisiana Tech, 6-6, December 20th, 8 p.m. ET, ESPN, SMU's games are at least entertaining. The Mustangs put up over 40 points a game, with QB Ben Hicks slinging it around to a pair of 1,000 yard receivers, Thraquin and Cortland Sutton. The Bulldogs aren't nearly as prolific, but they should be able to keep pace as the SMU defense is quite leaky. West Virginia, 7-5, versus Utah, 6-6, December 26, first colon 30 p.m. ET, ESPN. The season was disappointing for both these teams that started out in the top 25. The Mountaineers couldn't make enough defensive stops to take advantage of QB Will Grier, who then saw his season cut short because of a hand injury. The Utes had the opposite problem unable to generate enough consistent offense to pull out a slew of agonizingly close games. More, ranking all 39 college football bowl games, here are 39-31 Woken Column, 10 Takeaways from the College Football Coaching Carousel More, USA Today Sports College Football Freshman All-America Team More, USA Today Sports College Football All-American Team Central Michigan, 8-4, versus Wyoming, 7-5, December 22nd, 4th p.m. ET, ESPN, the Chippewas ride into Boise on a five-game winning streak, which included a sweep of their directional Michigan Mac rivals. The Cowboys were hoping for a higher finish in the Mountain West standings, but the offense never really blossomed under QB Josh Allen. Marshall, 7-5, versus Colorado State, 7-5, December 16th, 4th colon 30 p.m. ET, ESPN, this is another pairing of teams that finished in the middle of the pack in their respective conferences, though the Thundering Herd are happy to be bowling again following a disastrous 3-9 campaign in 2016. A two-game skid by the Rams in November in which they lost a close one in the snow at Wyoming then squandered a big lead at home to Boise State cost them a better finish in the MWC. North Carolina State, 8-4, versus Arizona State. 7-5, December 29th, 3rd p.m. ET, CBS, it's difficult to gauge the interest level for the participants here. The Wolfpack's year was on the verge of being truly special but in the end was just okay. The Sun Devils' season-ending rivalry win against Arizona was insufficient to save Todd Graham's job, so with changes coming the team's reaction will be interesting to see. Number 20 Northwestern, 9-3 versus Kentucky, 7-5, December 29th, 4th colon 30 p.m. ET, ESPN, this all-wildcats showdown has bust potential. Since facing Wisconsin and Penn State in its first two Big Ten tilts, Northwestern has rattled off seven wins in a row. Kentucky admittedly had a tougher finishing stretch but wasn't particularly competitive against Georgia or Louisville. Missouri, 7-5, versus Texas, 6-6, December 27th, 9th p.m. ET, ESPN, whether a bowl win truly sets the tone for the season to follow is subject to debate, but in this case it could do just that. After a brutal 1-5 start, the Tigers saved their season with a six-game winning streak and Barry Odom was rewarded with a two-year contract extension. The first year under Tom Herman in Austin saw some growing pains but the youthful Longhorns managed to get to six victories and those postseason practices could prove valuable. Arizona, 7-5, versus Purdue, 6-6, December 27th, 8th colon 30 p.m. ET, Fox, when you haven't been bowling since 2012, any postseason opportunity is nice. When you get there at the expense of your arch rival, it's even nicer. The Boilermakers qualified for this game by beating Indiana for the old oaken bucket. They get a tough assignment, however, as they face Wildcats dual threat QB Callow Date, 
who emerged as one of the breakout stars of the season once he entered the lineup. He took a big hit in the Arizona State game but is expected to be ready for the bowl. Iowa, 7-5, vs. Boston College, 7-5, December 27, 5th colon 15 p.m. ET, ESPN, at a cold weather venue with two teams best known for stingy defense. The score figures to be close if not especially high. But both offenses have shown flashes at unexpected times this year, like the Hawkeyes' 55-point explosion against Ohio State and the Eagles' 35-3 demolition of Florida State. Navy, 6-6, vs. Virginia, 6-6, December 28, 1st 30 p.m. ET, ESPN, the Cavaliers come in on a three-game skid. But after going to 10 in 2016, they're more than happy to be bowling. The midshipmen also stumbled down the stretch but should still have plenty of fight in them on their home field as they look to bounce back from the loss to Army.